for the fourth year running, Borga girls have suffered um, eliminations at the qualifiers, the regional qualifiers. And I would engage with some the contestants. Where are you? Those who stood for the school, Jacinta. come closer to me. Jacinta, how, how does it feel not qualifying again? It's, it's, it, it feels bad, very, very bad. But mm -hmm. we can't say anything. It's by the grace of God, so everything is good. Like, I feel bad, so because of that, I'll talk to maybe my teachers and all those stuff, so that we'll fight well. Because, you know, every mistake is a new star. Maybe how we were learning and all those things. Now that we know, we know maybe we'll achieve more, or the time we spend, uh, extend it and do more. How has the preparation been like all these years? You see, everything, motivation, that is everything. So, like, if there's no motivation, how will the thing go on? So, like, it's just resources and motivation. But we know that next year, everything, everything. Okay, so touching on next year, what should we expect from Borga girls? Are you going to qualify to bring this particular jet? No, we are not going to qualify from the premium. It's national straight. We are qualifying to the national straight. Straight, yes. They are coming like fire, and no school can withstand us. <laughs> So we are going to melt them also? Yeah, we are going to melt them. We are going to win the National Science and Maths quiz over there. So they should be expecting us by God's grace. Okay, so those are the ladies from um, Borga. Sir, let me engage you. Yeah, you have you. been the coordinator for them. How does it make you feel um, not qualifying for four years? Borga, I remember in 2019 you qualified but yeah. was kicked out by the Infant Spim School. How does that make you feel? Yeah, we feel bad. We are not actually very happy for not qualifying for the consecutive four years. So going forward, is there anything, is there a reason why you're not actually qualified first place? No, all is based on resources and then teamwork as far as uh, the science and math departments are concerned. Uh, in any case, in everything, we need resources, we need moral support, we need motivation. And all these things to some extent are lacking. On other jurisdictions, other schools, you know, the old students firm as uh, the backbone for the performance of the students. Back at Bogies, we lack that. The, girl, the old girls are not actually helping. If the old girls will come in their number in terms of provision of resources and then coming, uh, this one, for instance, those around Bulgaria, if they are coming, at least they would have given the girls some moral support. So on the part of the old girls, I just want to push them that the fact they have to actually help. God left with the school alone or the government alone, we can't do anything. So we plead with the old girls so that at least they will help the girls in terms of resources and moral support whenever it comes to things like this. So what's the situation? Is it that they are not coming to the school or what, what is really happening? Yes, that is the issue. They don't just come. Yes, that's the fact the information got into them but they don't come. At the time we even qualified for the national level, we went to Accra, just a few of them came. And getting to the end of it, they disappeared. And we are not very happy with that. So that's a teacher from um, Borga Girls SHS. They are saying that resources is what is needed um, to boost the girls' uh, morale so that they could win uh, or qualify from the regional qualifiers to the national stage and hopefully clinch the national title. From here in Borga, my name is Emmanuel Brightquaku.